New works are just so important. You know, they feed the art form and push it forward. With respect to everything that's come before, works created today are very different than works created even 10 years ago or 20 years ago because they're being created by artists that are living in this world we live in today. The piece, um, it's a series of three solos and then a trio at the end. Each solo is really about an experience of adversity that led someone to growth into a better experience. At the beginning of each rehearsal on the first day, I asked each dancer that question, you know, if they would share something um, where they had had that experience. Um, and in every respect, it's really informed the solo. Like I've thought about it quite directly and sort of woven that into what's in the choreography. You know, my original idea was that the piece was gonna be three men, um, but when I saw Christina, I, I really was excited to work with her, so I changed changed the idea for the piece. You know, I'm six foot six, I'm very tall, and um, to get to work with dancers who are that tall, you know, I, I understand the physics a little bit more, and it's always a real pleasure for me to get to have that. And she's so soulful and intelligent and mature, and inhabits that big long body in such a beautiful way so you know make making this work for her has been a real pleasure so it's always really special to have a ballet created on you you become the canvas for a choreographer to create upon and you open yourself up to bringing their ideas to their fullest vision and i think that the audience is definitely going to feel three very different underlying stories through the solos um, and of course that's gonna be up to them, but I think it's good for the audience to know that there is a very personal experience that we are dancing really from the heart. And it's something that is, it came from us and Trey is bringing it to the stage. And what's really exciting is we're gonna have live music on stage. So this is already a small cast, it's only three dancers. So to have live music on stage with us, it's just gonna bring that extra level of just intimacy and closeness. And we won't just build a relationship between the three dancers, but we'll also be able to bring the music in and just, I think it's gonna complete the piece in a really beautiful way. The new, the new duet that I'm creating for this program. Originally, I had no idea if it was going to be about anything or if it was just going to be about the music. And as I kept listening to the music and actually started working with the dancers, it turned into this reflection of my new role as a mom. So, now I'm super emotionally attached to this idea of that it's a expression of my worry and pride as a new mother. It's so classic America, like old Western, that kind of feeling of people that are coming to America for the first time, that American dream and why. And um, lately I've been thinking a lot about that. Um, what about our country do we love? Like what matters to us? Why do we care about living here and, and having other people immigrate in and, and live here also and be a part of that? I'm super excited about a bunch of things in this work, but mostly there are these big piano riffs that happen, these big piano solos in the midst of the orchestra. And to me, it just sounds like if you've knitted up a scarf and you start to unravel it super quickly and it just starts to fall apart before your eyes, that's what the piano sounds like to me. And so I've taken these classical, classically formed steps and had the dancers almost, almost reverse and unravel them in their own way. And it's been so much fun because we have to go through each step slowly, almost like you go through a hip hop phrase <laughs> and say, okay, we're gonna do this arm and then that arm and then we get here, but it's gonna feel like you're connecting the dots in a super specific and clear way. This piece will have it all. It's gonna have a lot of big, huge movements, patterns, the group dancing, everyone together. Those, those dynamic qualities will be there, but there will also be those intimate, quiet, more human spaces that I think, I think we all experience in our lives day by day.